Yo yo. There we are again. Another J List unboxing. This will be for January. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and ease off on these uh, for this year because mostly um, I want to go to South Korea and uh, kind of reach a few of the, the bigger goals than just satisfying myself with resale therapy, which, you know, on the instant gratification is very satisfying. Uh, but, you know, you don't really get that far. And my income is pretty limited. <laughs> so, with that out of the way, let's have some fun and um, see what we got. So I just took off the receipt. Careful not to cut too deep. Hope everybody had a really nice, uh, whatever it is that you guys celebrate, depending on what you believe in, what you don't believe in. Uh, my family does Christmas, but most certainly I'm not on a, uh, on a religious thing. It's more of a consumerist, or even just not even that, just uh, having beers and seafood and champagne. So. And who says you need to wait till the end of the year to do that? You should do that all the time if it makes you happy. Anyway, so, uh, got, you know, obviously nice and packed again with some clippings from Japanese newspapers, which I'll check out later. Maybe some stuff that I can use for music based projects or art based projects. Alright, so, what do we got? <laughs> this is cool. I also love that it's so conveniently bubble wrapped. It's really tiny too. So we got a little little can of Pepsi. J Cola uh, Zero. So obviously it's Pepsi, like no sugar, I guess. But it's J Cola, so I don't know if it's going to taste exactly the same or if it's going to taste any different. But can's cool. It's got all of the the uh, classic tidal wave. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty sweet. So we got that. What is that? That's... What size is this? This is going to be like 125 mils or something. It's... It's tiny. 155. It's pretty close. So we got that. Um, we got some... I really wish... Maybe if I'm quick, I can bring up the the order form because the order form is in English and none of this stuff is in English well most of it isn't anyway so I'm like what, what is this and why did I order it again I think it's a seasoning that you put on uh, you know whatever actually yeah there you go you can kind of see that it's suggesting that maybe you put it on noodles or you know, rice or whatever um, so we'll come back to that but yeah I mean it's it looks like a seasoning of sorts. I'm not going to open it up though. But we'll, we'll, we'll find out. I'm sure there'll be photos later on down the track. So I just got a phone call. I don't know who it's from because it, the ID was hidden and I don't answer calls uh, from numbers that I don't, that are hidden because it makes me hella anxious. It's that important to leave a voicemail. So I'm sorry about that. If there's a little bit of a break in there, it's because of that. Um, so we'll just continue on. So we got uh, got some preserved squid, or like some squid jerky, I guess you could call it. Quite popular. I don't know what the flavor is, but um, does say good taste, good smile. So that's what I'm banking on. Uh, little thing. Another little thing. Login and everything is just being really slow. I think we've got everyone in the house is streaming stuff, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah, I got a cool little lucky cat. It's kind of a bit bright, but yeah, basically, yeah, it's kind of cool. Got a little felt thing for him to sit on as well, so I'll take that out later. Uh, 
Alright, logging in finally, <laughs> after how many minutes? Chip Star, this will be in reverse, but it says uh, Chip Star, avocado and mayonnaise flavoured. Interesting, interesting stuff. I might try one now actually. They kind of have that Pringles vibe to them. Oh, okay. Um, so they kind of come out like jats. Ah, oh, cool. But they look like, they come out like jats, but they look like Pringles. Oh, they do smell like mayonnaise and avocado. It's so... If you close your eyes, it, it, it has that smell perfectly. Oh man. Yeah. I wish I'd bought more of those. I feel like I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, me likey. I like it a lot. Obviously they're not meant to be held on to for very long because the, the lid doesn't seem to snap back into place. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, what else we got? Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I forgot what that is as well. But it looks like some kind of wafer. Mini Ika Ikagoromo Iko Ikagoromo Otsumami snack Mon Monja Yaki tastes. If anybody knows what that is, could you please tell me? But I'm thinking that they feel like they're wafery stuff that you it's supposed to emulate the flavour of it looks like shrimp or like, you know, sort of hot spicy soup flavoured stuff. I wish I knew. Uh, so we'll just keep, just keep on going. Um, hmm. I really wish I knew what that was. Oh, Ikagor. Okay, it's a tempura snack. There you go. Now, what was the other thing that I was trying to figure out? What the flavor of it was? Chipster. The. Um, what was it? I wanted to figure out. Avocado. Oh, the, what the flavor of this is. Um, squid jerky. It doesn't say. Okay, one's a lemon flavor. I'll just pull them out in. I'll just hastily pull them out. So this one's lemon flavor, obviously. Beef steak, plant, and basil, maybe, for that one. Look, I don't know. It's, um, no, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> it just says, one says uh, ik ikasumi, one is uni, and the setochi lemon. So whatever the, whatever these two are, this is the uni. Uh, my Japanese isn't great, so I don't know which is which, but. Maybe I'll just do a bit of a Google search and see if I can't get those translated. So, yeah, at least I know that this is tempura flavored. Okay, we'll speed things up because we're already coming up to about five minutes plus the previous video that got interrupted. So, these seem to be some kind of nice snack of sorts. I don't know what kind, but they look nice. Um, you can see on the side there they've kind of got that crunchy fries thing from the previous video that I did, or the one before that. So it could be that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Guess I could find out. I mean, I will find out, but not, not right now. Um, I got these again because I just can't get enough of them. I think they're probably some of the best things ever, and I really wish that they sold them in bigger packets because, yeah, I could easily eat the whole, the whole bag in one sitting. Um, 
more stuff that I don't know what it is, but it, it sounds like it's seasoning or something that you put on, uh, you know, noodles or, or rice. Um, Tempura snack. No, I don't know. No, let's see. Well, at least I can't find it right now. I may have got an idea. Uh, egg and seaweed. Egg and seaweed flavored powder. I don't know. I went on a bit of a just an impulse thing, but I think it made more sense when I was ordering them because now that I'm looking at the receipt, I can't remember what the item description was. Anyway, I'm sure it'll all taste fine. I'll be able to find some kind of use for them. Uh, and like that one, I got a black one, so I'm thinking I'll keep the black one for myself. And I'll give the white lucky cat um, to, uh, to a friend, a loved one, as a belated Christmas gift. These ones I know are just, um, I think these are candies or chewable, like kind of gummies, but they're mushroom shaped and I bought that, bought them on that alone because I love mushrooms, anything mushroom related. Maybe beetroot flavour? You can see that little picture of that, it looks like a beetroot, but then this is kind of made to look like pretzels or wood, so I don't know what they're going to taste like. I love not knowing what any of this shit's going to taste like, except the stuff that I bought before. And yeah, I got Death Mix again because, like these, really nice, good spicy, you know, burny, but not like ridiculously overpowering. Um, but, you know, just a shame that they don't come in bigger bigger packets. So, um, got another sticker. I'll add that to the pile of stickers that I already have. The usual, um, usual stuff. Actually, that wasn't on the last one, so I might keep that, because I actually like their mascot, um, Megumi. And they do a drawing competition every now and then. Um, so maybe I'll give that a go one time. And at the bottom we've got some, um, some reading material. Uh, one of them, sorry, two of them are in a particular, um, uh, like a series, and it's called uh, Kimi no Pantsu Ga Mitai, and one's Autumn, and one of them is Winter. And I think that there was a summer one, but it sold out really quickly, so check those out one point and this one I don't know but I think it's just highly detailed so you know real recognize real anyway that's it for the that's it for the box thank you for watching um, there were some stuff that didn't get shipped with this box probably because it wasn't as always ready when the order was placed and it has since been shipped and I will probably get that in about another week or so. So I will either do two videos for January, um, or uh, I'll just save that one for February and, uh, and leave it at that. So appreciate your time as always, guys. I hope I haven't been too boring. I'm not sure why I do these unboxings, but it is kind of fun. And um, yeah, I kind of, it's nice to share this stuff at least on a visual level with, uh, with the people that follow my journey, whatever that may be. So um, yeah, have fun and uh, happy new year and uh, catch you soon.